Hey guys, it's Christopher and this is another Solaris tutorial. It will be um, about swimming because last time we made this, this very nice little lake but the hero is unable to swim in the water. So um, I'm just gonna reuse my my map from the previous chapter, but you can create a new one if you if you want. Uh, swimming. I also need to change the file name, chapter ten, and the game manager script should start games on this map now. Okay, as usual. So the problem was that we made this nice little lake but the, the hero <laughs> can only drown, which is not fun, not fun at all. Okay, so um, I will present how to create an equipment item and we will do the c program the code of uh, the the flippers. We already have three items: heart, shield, sword. And the heart one is slightly complete, slightly complex because it has a custom movement. Anyway, um, I never really explained um, these scripts yet because we needed them just to present uh, the basic usage of the editor with um, the chests, um, tre treasures, pickable treasures, and treasures that, ha that are under uh, bushes uh, and these kind of things. But <coughs> we did not talk about programming items yet. So, okay, so let's create our flippers item, file name flippers, and friendly name flippers. Okay. Um, and when you do some Lua code, your best friend is the official documentation, the Lua ap API reference. Right now we have uh, this empty script. So, the flippers, uh, we, we can already make a chest and put flippers in, in the chest. So let's do it. Flippers. The variant will be always one because there is al uh, only one variant, variant of flippers, unlike the sword. And we can save this, the opening state of the chest with any save game variable name that you want, but it should be unique to avoid clashes between different chests. So a good way to avoid clashes mm, to avoid name clashes is to put the name of the map in the save game variable. So chapter ten flippers chest. Uh okay. When you make a treasure, you need to add a dialogue for this treasure. We saw that we saw that in the tutorial about about um, treasures, treasures. But it was a long time ago. Flippers. So the ID of the dialogue of the treasure di dialogue should be. Um, underscore treasure dot the name of the item dot the variant. In our case, you found the flippers. You can now swim. Oops, in deep water. Save.
great. But I lied. I can't swim in deep in deep water. Because as I as I said, we just create an em we just created an empty item that has no particular properties because this Lua script is completely empty. So um re you should read the documentation about equipment items and this documentation explains with a very simple example how to create an item and actually it will look uh, like it it will look like it will look a lot like this example uh, let, oh. let's call this flippers or item or whatever Flippers. Okay, um, but this is not. <laughs> we are not making the rupees item with the flippers, so it will be something else. Um, so the engine, when your game starts, calls your actually the engine calls all item scripts including the flippers so this code is executed um, and what this code does is to retrieve the the item object created actually by the engine and store it in this variable here and then we customize it we add this function on obtaining which is actually an event called by the engine later called uh, when the hero obtains this treasure this item so events are documented here on obtaining you can read that it's an event called when the the hero is obtaining a treasure of this kind of item with information more more detailed information about the treasure uh, in in this parameters variant and save game variable but in our case it's so simple that we are not going to do something different uh, depending on the value of variant and save game variable so just on obtaining. If we don't use parameters in Lua, we can simply discard them, forget them. Okay, so uh, self get game. Self is actually the the this object of the function. If you know oriented pro oriented uh, uh, sorry <laughs> object oriented programming, you can also do that. In our case, maybe it's. M easier to understand. Flippers. Uh, what do we want to do when the hero obtains the flippers? We want to tell the engine that the hero is now able to swim. And it will be very simple to program because actually the swimming ability is already built in in the engine. So we just have to get oops, the game with item get game this game object represents a save game the save data and um, there's this function set ability that allows to change the ability level of any of these built-ins ability so swim is the one that we are interested in in this chapter, but you can also, for example, change the, the lift ability. And the lift ability uh, is, is an example of ability with probably several levels in your game. In Link to the Past, in the Zelda or Link to the Past, you have uh, the white stones and then the black stones. But for the swimming ability, there will be only one level. 
So set ability swim and level one. Um, initially, the level is zero in the save game, meaning that the hero cannot swim. And with a value of one, he can swim. So that's it. This is all we need for the flippers. Oh, <laughs> of course I should open the chest maybe. Okay, good. So you can swim. It's uh, similar to Zelda Link to the Past. If you press the spacebar, more exactly the, <laughs> the action key, because um, the keys can be customized. If you press the action key, the hero will swim faster. And as always, all the, sp the sprites that you are seeing now, uh, the swimming sprites and the sound also, are included in the Zelda Link to the Past resource pack. Um, okay, so congratulations. Now you know how to create an equipment item. So again, um, this function is called by the engine is called by the engine when the hero obtains the flippers. There are other such functions. They are called events. Actually oh no, it's we are I, I'm on the game page, but we are talking about equipment items. There are a few events for equipment items. You can define what happens when uh a, a pickable treasure of this kind is created on a map when the hero obtains the treasure there is on obtaining and on obtained they are very similar the only difference is that um, if there is a dialogue shown when you obtain the treasure this event is called before the dialogue and this one is called after the dialogue Okay, um, so the sword sprite, um, the sword item, sorry, is very similar to the flippers item, except that um, we are changing a few properties at initi initializa initialization time. Uncreated is called when the game starts, when the item script is is uh, executed. So you can read the doc documentations to to understand all of this, but is is not very complex. And this part is looks very much like the flippers script. The hard script is more complex because of these custom movements that we create when a pickable heart is created. But you can easily understand this part at least. It's exactly the same thing that uh, than in for the flippers. But uh, what we give to the player is not an ability to swim, but we we give life points. And mm, you can you can still understand the rest of the script if you if you read the documentation of of how these functions work and you can also ask questions I'm always happy to help okay so I want just to finish this episode I wanted to make a ladder to let the hero come back um, outside store I don't need this I have this very complex ladder here um, because I I used it to try um, um, advanced stuff 
with uh, cliffs that go to uh, another layer, cliffs that that change layer when when you when you get on them. But we are not doing this kind of tricky stuff for now. Okay. Is it like this or like this? Like this. Not so sure. Oh, I forgot. Okay, so the hero is working um, slower when uh, when he's on the ladder. This is because the ladder here has a ground property, a uh, special ground property called uh, <laughs> ladder. And this, this ground slows down the hero. Slows the hero down. Anyway. <laughs> so I think I was wrong and it should be like this. And also I forgot the second part of the jumper. Okay, good. Um, that's it for this video. I hope you got something of it and take care. Bye.